We are bringing a voice to the unborn. While Alex Lahan with We Dignify and thousands of other activists rally and march for life in Chicago, Planned Parenthood is pushing legislation that would repeal the Illinois Parental Notice of Abortion Act. Eric Scheidler, the executive director of the Pro-Life Action League, says the law is protecting young girls from adult predators. This law has cut abortion in half for minor girls in our state since it was finally enforced in 2013. Even with parental notice, Illinois may be the most anti-life state in the nation with taxpayer funding of abortion, legal, late-term abortions. And Dr. Karen Digan with Loyola University Medical Center warns that the right of conscience for pro-life medical professionals is under increased attack. Our right to choose is the right to refuse to perform procedures that destroy human life. <laughs> Despite his vote to impeach President Trump, Democratic U.S. Representative Dan Lipinski is promising to work with Republicans in Congress to pass federal Born Alive legislation and will also join with them to fight efforts to scrap the Hyde Amendment, which restricts the use of taxpayer dollars for abortions. There are all common sense things that large majorities of Americans agree with us on and are with us on. But let's keep fighting. And for abortion survivor, Claire Caldwell, every day is a march for life. Be bold in your stand for life, in your stand for truth. Now is the time to do it. Stay informed about life issues. Visit IllinoisFamily.org, IllinoisFamily.org, and please support the work of IFI. All donations are tax-deductible.